Hey everyone, Malik Antoine here, seeing you on the football team. I'm back home in Baton News, Louisiana. Hope everyone is staying safe during these times. Hi Stanford, it's Wuju. I'm checking in from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Um, I'm a sophomore on the Stanford women's fencing team and I hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy out there. Hey everybody, my name is Ava G. Schiff and I'm a member of the Synchronized Swimming Team and I'm currently staying with my family in Danville, California. Hey Stanford fans, my name is Tyler Abramson. I'm a junior on the men's water polo team. I am checking in from my house in Arinda, California. Um, I'm joined here by my dog, Rusty, and I will be walking you through a little bit about what I've been eating and how I've been staying healthy during this quarantine. All right, so after my morning workout, I like to have more of a hearty breakfast. Um, this morning I'm having a, a toasted bagel, three fried eggs, and a, a glass of orange juice, as well as a couple vitamins. I got my Omega and my multivitamin. I just got in from a workout, and as you can see, it's kind of hot out here in Baton Rouge, but I just had a wonderful meal prepared by my mom. You know, a great thing about being home is I'm able to spend some quality time with my family. I have three brothers and one sister, so it's been amazing just spending time with them. But another huge thing about being home in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is the food. So I can't wait to give you guys a quick sneak peek of what we have. So I'm making Malik's favorite, crawfish etouffee. I use a lot of fresh crawfish. I use this Louisiana crawfish base. I use a lot of fresh seasoning, garlic, onion, bell pepper, Tony Satchery, and I let that cook for about 30 minutes, and then we just serve it over rice. It's Malik's favorite. I love making it. I just finished with my online classes for the day, and so now it's time to eat lunch. Uh, something I've really enjoyed about quarantine <laughs> is getting to eat my mom's home cooking. Um, we're a Korean family, so we we cook a lot of traditional Korean foods, um, as well as a lot of Korean fusion foods. Um, so let's go check out what my mom is making for lunch. So this is um, a spicy chicken, rice cake, and sweet potato dish. Um, and this here is steamed egg um, and so something about quarantine is that uh, we've become very resourceful with uh, what we have in our fridge um, so that we limit the number of times we uh, go out to restock our fridge so um, my mom has gotten very creative with the things that we can make I've been following a lot of Instagram food accounts and trying to get creative with making healthy and nutritious snacks and meals to keep me fueled. Uh, one thing that I've been really, really loving is chia seed pudding. It's super easy to make. You just leave it in the fridge overnight and you can get super creative with your toppings. So I do, I put cocoa powder in. Recently, I tried putting matcha powder in and it's really delicious. And I always top it with like fruit and almond butter and it's a great and filling snack and meal. All right, guys, so this is my mom. Um, she's a diehard Stanford fan. She comes to all my games. And um, yeah, so why don't you walk us through what we're making tonight? Tonight, we are going to be making glazed chicken with a Szechuan noodle salad. So this is actually a recipe that our swim coach, Lee, presented to our team uh, during our last Zoom. And uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to try it out. I'm glad it's a, a meal and not a swim set. All right, so step one for making our dinner is uh, putting the marinade on the chicken breast. Um, so this marinade is just poison sauce, soy sauce, olive oil, and a little bit of ginger. So um, I'm basically just going to apply it and work from here. Alright, so now that I have the chicken marinated, it's time to put it on the grill. Um, so I'm pretty much just going to grab them and put them on one at a time in a kind of a Z shape. Alright, now I'll just let them sit. All right, so the next step for our dinner is to make the noodles. So we've already got the pot of boiling water and I'm just adding the noodles. All right, so the last step uh, in making the noodle portion is to mix in the vegetables and the sauce. Um, my mom's already kind of beaten me to it, but yeah, that's what the final product looks like. So this is the final product. Um, it's a big meal. Um, there's some vegetables and some good rice cakes and chicken uh, mixed in with sweet potato, rice, seaweed, and the steamed egg. Um, this is a traditional dish called chun, and um, it's they're kind of like pancakes with 
um, a lot of different vegetables inside. All right, so this is what the final product looks like. We've combined the noodles with our veggies and our sauce, and then we've also put the chicken on. Um, it looks delicious, and I can't wait to dig in. I can't wait to enjoy that in a few minutes. Again, I hope everyone is staying safe, and I can't wait to get back on campus. I hope that everybody's staying happy and healthy during these times, and thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you guys all for tuning in, and go Card. Thank you for checking in. Be safe. Bye.